do have uh, photographs That's right, Greg. Uh, Take us of back. the tornado in progress. Let's have a look at some of those. Here what you're seeing is uh, that with fairly dry air here, fairly low relative humidities, it's difficult to get funnel clouds that come all the way to the ground. So you get a little bit of a dimple here. You can see a little V coming down of the lowered pressure effect. But then what you can see is uh, the, uh, and if I can get the reflections to go away. There you go. Here you can see the uh, dust, the brownish dust down near the ground. So while it doesn't look like the funnel comes all the way down to the ground, the, certainly the, this is a tornado in progress kicking up dust. This is the dust whirl. Uh, and that big donut was about a mile and a half wide. This is certainly not that wide as a tornado. So as I say, the, the tornado's inside that little hole, maybe 100 yards or look 200 yards picture, wide. Greg, this that one, is clearly a tornado. Yeah, this one is definitely a tornado here. You're seeing, uh, looking upwards, the counterclockwise rotating winds there, uh, the uh, lowered pressure of the, the little funnel cloud coming down. So this was a rotating thunderstorm, as I mentioned there. That This is probably about the size of that donut hole, mm -hmm. uh, of that whole donut. Then, at this point, the, the dust has been lifted up all the way from the ground up almost basically to cloud base. So this is what we call a land spot. Uh, it's uh, over land, but it's uh, cylindrical in shape, very much like most water spots. When you have tornadoes that are going over water, they take this appearance. Okay, uh, we think that this tornado may have actually touched down between a couple of runways on the airport property. Again, we don't have any reports of damage, but Greg, a lot of folks were uh, seeking shelter because of what you're showing right there. Yeah, indeed. Definitely tornado warnings had been in effect, but have expired now for the Denver International Airport. Good news, Greg. Thank you so much. Paul, over to you.